With any luck, though, we will soon be enjoying those bright sunny days in the great outdoors. And here to help us make the most of it is Bugman, national treasure and apparently number one fan of News Hub late, Rude Kleinpasta. Hi there, Rude. Thank you very much for coming on the programme with us. Welcome. Now, it is uh, tis the season to be jolly and tis apparently the season for somewhat ridiculous headwear and for bugs as well. Tell us what's going on there. Oh, this is a head made by one of my best friends, is Richard de Hamel from Nelson Doherty's. Who will be yours? Yeah, they fly around at this time of the year. They come to your light. There's all these wonderful butterflies, like yellow emeralds. There are there are parasites like these that lay an egg inside their prey. Peripetus, more than 100 million years old, Aotearoa stuff. And, of course, look at this spider. It does sign language. This is a wonderful New Zealand native jumping spider. This is the sort of stuff that you can look at with your kids in the garden. Why not? Amazing, amazing. And if not, we get it on a, on a hat. Hey, speaking of being out and about in the garden, if we are creaking open the barbecue after a long absence, is mm -hmm. it morally acceptable to just turn it on and fry whatever critters happen to have taken up residence there over the winter? Ingrid, you're going to be my number one fan of what we're going to do from now on, that is entomophagy, eating insects rather than beef and lamb. Because insects can uh, make green material turn it into protein a lot quicker than cows can. And it is the new protein source that we need on this planet. So I have no problem in frying the roaches in your barbecue. Oh my goodness, I w we had different ideas where that was going, but that's okay, so we can fry them and then I'll, I'll send them your way. Uh, look, I don't want this interview to take uh, a dark turn, but how do we kill flies or at least discourage them from hanging around? Well, that's very simple, Ingrid. You know how flies uh, are, are quite fast flyers, but they are really bad in strong winds. So what do people do? They put the windows open on the leeward side on the on the on the windy side on the leeward side of the house, which is exactly where this fly I sheltered to the side where the wind is not. So if you put the windows open on the windy side, you'll find there are no flies there, and then you get fewer inside. It's simple little things that you've got to think about, you know, in terms of flies, how they operate, what they like and dislike, and you will reduce your number of flies very quickly. Okay, great advice. Uh, more in that, in that vein, mosquitoes. Is it going to be a bumper mozzie season, and what can we do about that? Yeah, it, it, when it's wet, and it's going to be a reasonably wet summer, I think, on the long-range forecast, which means there might be a bit of stagnant water in, uh, lying around. And that is where the mosquitoes breed their young ones, you know, in the water, those little wrigglers that go up and down. So that's number one. Number two, if you do get mosquitoes, and if you are really targeted by mosquitoes, use stuff on your arms. Use stuff on your face. In other words, repellent. That is probably the best. There's another way of doing mosquitoes, and it is thinking about the fact that they are going to find you because you exhale carbon dioxide as a warm-blooded creature. So if you stop breathing... <laughs> You're right. No mosquitoes. Just, that's the way to go about it. I just thought I'd mention it. Okay. Thank you for that very, very helpful advice there. Hey, Rude, I hope that your cup runneth over with bugs as we head into 2023. Thank you very much for your time and for your advice tonight. Merry Christmas to you too. See ya.